Ah, this episode of Pen Point starts right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at www.audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint. You know, I gotta say just a little bit about my friend, the Aflac duck, Gilbert Gottfried. Um, Gilbert Gottfried is, uh, I think, I made a whole movie about it, The Aristocrats, uh, The Funniest Man Alive. I think he is wonderful. Uh, I think that uh, everything he does is great. I think he was wonderful as the voice of the Aflac duck. And then he tweeted a lot of jokes about the tragedy in Japan, and Aflac uh, fired him. And right after that, he and his wife uh, called me right when it uh, right when it hit, and we chatted about it. And uh, a few people have asked me what I think about it, and I've said it about to Gilbert a lot, so I want to say it um, someplace kind of publicly. <sighs> I think no one did anything wrong. And the idea that people are saying that Gilbert should have known better and what an asshole, he should have known this, um, he shouldn't have known this. Uh, Gilbert has said stuff uh, very, very uh, uh, out of line, very surprising, very uh, uh, tasteless. He does that and Aflac stood behind him. He did not know that Aflac did 75% of their business in Japan. He did not know that at all. Also, Aflac was winding down Gilbert anyway, and this was a whole new way to get a whole new breath. And Aflac did exactly what Aflac should have done. They should have fired Gilbert. I mean, they should. They have to make good in their contracts and pay him out for whatever the rest he's owed on, and I'm sure they're going to do that. They're an honorable company. But then they're fine to fire him, because you can make the argument that an entertainment group, a group making movies or a group making TV, um, should be edgy. No one can make the argument that an insurance company should be edgy. All of this aside, Gilbert, when he made those jokes, did not know how bad the earthquake and tsunami were going to be in Japan. Everybody's judging Gilbert from what they knew 12 hours after he made those jokes. And I'm sorry. One person dying is a complete and utter tragedy. It's terrible. It's horrible. It's heartbreaking. The people who've died in my life still break my heart every day, no matter how many years it is. I know that. But tragedies far away that we make jokes about, it really does matter how bad they are. And Japan got a lot worse than when we first heard the reports coming in, which is when Gilbert first made his comments. Also, and this is important, when we're talking about Gilbert's jokes, we're only talking about taste. We are not talking about hurting anyone. If you are involved in a tragedy, a true tragedy, and you have lost loved ones and you are fighting for your life, what people say on Twitter does not mean a fucking thing. If you are in a bad situation, where you can read something on Twitter by someone half a world away and it can make that tragedy worse, your tragedy is not that bad. Not one person in Japan suffered more because of what Gilbert said. It's just a question of taste. And yes, uh, Aflac does have to worry about the question of taste and they're fine firing him. Gilbert did nothing wrong. He hurt nobody. He hurt nobody. He hurt nobody. Those are the most important points. He was just making jokes, and that's what he does. So this is a story where Gilbert is a victim by losing a job. Not a victim as bad as people in Japan. It's a very minor, minor bad thing that happened to him. He still has two beautiful children and a loving wife. He's still a genius. He'll still work all over the place. He has plenty of money. Aflac did exactly what they needed to do. Gilbert did exactly what he needed to do. There's no bad guys. And the people that say he should have known better are fucking lying. And the people that say he hurt people by saying this stuff are completely wrong. He hurt no one, 
he did no damage. It was fine for him to be fired. So that's what I get to say about Gilbert. And Gilbert also, I love you. You're the funniest man in the world. And Aflac, if you need a voice for the duck, you know, going with someone like me might be a really good idea. There's money in that. Quack, Aflac. See, it's good, it's good. Aflac, that sounds great. Or I could do it, oh, I could do it like Gilbert. Aflac. See, there's money there for me. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, go to audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint for your free audiobook.